In Creo 10.0, we have improved our contact detection and workflow within Creo Ansys and Creo Simulation Live. These new improvements will make contact detection much more efficient when done automatically and much easier when doing it manually. Let's enter Creo Ansys and compare how we did contacts in the past to our current method. In the past, we could only define contacts by a one-to-one -one method. So for this simple snap fit assembly, it took a long time to define all these contacts and you could make an error fairly easily. In Creo 10.0, when you detect contacts automatically, it will identify one-to-many and many-to-many -many contact surfaces. Since these two parts are not touching, let's show you the new manual method. First, you can see how we now have multiple references in our collector when defining contacts. So I can pick many surfaces together. Also, you can notice that we have a repeat button that will restart the window so you don't have to select it from the ribbon again. Notice here in this simple assembly how I can go from 23 contacts previously now to just two contacts currently. These new enhancements for contact detection will save you time and definition while decreasing errors, and at the same time, make contact detection much faster when using the automatic method. 